Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. This is one that I've wanted to do for a long time. Stick with me. Look, we got the boonie and we got the backcountry. So we're going to put these two trailers side by side. Well, look, they already are side by side. I'm going to go through them, show you some differences, show you some things that uh, I was impressed about with the boonie stomper, but we had to improve on with the backcountry trailer. So check it out you guys i'm going to show you both these trailers and kind of do a little comparison so thanks for checking out rocky mountain backcountry like if you do subscribe if you haven't and let's check these things out check out the old boonie she's the uh, classic teardrop shape you know not bad pretty cool pretty cool we got over here we have an inlet for a power cord and we have a light up here, but, oh, that door's locked. The nice part is it has two doors. I like it, that's good. Uh, so let's go inside really quick. The Boonie Stomper has no power. You see a 12 volt plug right there. This, they use a Jackery. And the storage that you have in this unit is right here. That is the storage for the boonie. But you plug a jackery into that and that powers uh, powers the lights, powers the fan. I do see that they have a nice three speed fan there. And uh, on the inside, it's nice and quiet in here. And you can see they carpeted the sides. I like that. Inside the boonie stomper, Looks pretty good, it's pretty simple. They got this plastic uh, for the roof going up across here. And yeah, that's the inside of the boonie. And like I said, doors on both sides, the jackery powers the lights. Back here they have a small solar panel. And it's top solar, I think that's, I don't know, that looks like it might be 50 watts to uh, do your jackery. And aluminum steps, caution, not a step. I get that. Got LED tail lights down there, a license plate bracket, license plate light. Um, so yeah, not bad you guys. Now check out underneath here. This is what I think they did mostly right. But if you look at my suspension, we'll compare them here in just a second. Um, you can see up here they've got rubber uh, joints up here. And some, some will say that the rubber's better. Some will say the heim joints are better. I like the heim joints because they're easy, more easily serviceable. Um, we have a similar shock setup. But you guys, I'm not going to lie. I took this design and totally improved on it and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you why I think it's so much better um, if you look these these bars here that go across here they use the smaller radius bar than those um, and then like I say the the joints up there we got these I believe are 150 pound spring and on the backcountry trailer we've got a hundred or 250 pound spring actually look at that that's 125 pound spring so similar hubs this one has five lug and a 2,000 pound axle and the oh, let me get up out of here the backcountry trailer has a 2,000 pound axle and a four four on four bolt pattern so anyway there's the fan up there on the boonie and that's the that's really all there is to it it's two by two square tubing and it looks like they got a couple of different spots here for jacks uh, this particular guy went and got a 2,000 pound trailer jack that folds up that keeps it up off the ground so when you're running the side by side or whatever you're pulling it with it doesn't drag underneath there so all in all i think the boonie stomper i think they uh hit a home run with it 
if the boonie stomper was a home run then the backcountry trailer <laughs> that was a grand slam you guys so now look at these side by side we got a little bit better clearance of course that comes from a, a taller uh, stronger spring you got the 125 spring over here and you have the 250 pound coil spring on the backcountry trailer so now look over here no receiver hitch we got a receiver in the rear we got L blacked out led tail lights uh i'm sure you can add accessories to the boonie that just bolts through the boonie stomper sides are are uh a plywood and then they skin it with aluminum and i'm not 100 percent sure how they do the roof but the sides on the backcountry trailer are a composite sandwich and insulate one inch insulation and oh my gosh it's dirty you guys i'm gonna drop a picture right here this is where we were last night this thing handled and did awesome so also if you want to check more of the backcountry trailer you can go check out the last video we did but six speed reversible fan we got led lights we have exterior lights you've seen those we have a window in here we have storage inside we have usb and 12 volt inside you can see the wood paneling my opinion is this looks a little bit more cozy right so that's that side let's come over and take a look at this side of course ak-40 kitchen is an option and we're using the one inch by two inch extruded aluminum on here here is the second door so that compares to the boonie with the two doors here you can get an idea of that window and the inside i'm sorry again that it's dirty had a great little camp out last night so all of the magic happens right here on the backcountry trailer you guys 100 amp hours of lithium polymer battery 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter we have a power converter to hook into shore power so self-contained for power we have all the lights we have all the stuff we have all the power in fact last night uh my my buddy took his jackery 300 and he actually plugged it into the backcountry trailer and charged his jackery for a few hours and uh didn't didn't make any difference to the battery life we have 120 watts of solar up there on the roof that comes into here now look at the back of the boonie and look at the back of the backcountry oh it's dirty i cooked biscuits i cooked biscuits last this morning uh, in the oven but the renergy wanderer solar charge controller we have spaces for more electronics here uh, more 12 volt stuff we have all of the 12 volt doodads and it is all part of the trailer more storage back here you can see on this one i've carpeted the back end here um I, my plan is to put compartments here so that these cute little essential storage boxes they can stack up here like this and like this and then i've got room for other other little doodads but we have the lights up here so they go on and off with that switch or with the regular switch we have the voltage meter here look at that we're running 14 volts 14.1 we got some charge coming in right now from the solar and uh yeah you guys let's also check out the wheels and tires so we have a tensor off-road tire here and that's going to be a personal preference we do have the five lug the five on four and a half that's nice for the jeeps and the easier patterns that way here i have gone ahead and put on a can-am uh adapter so i'm running the same 32 inch tires and 15 inch rims as my side by side 
so that's where some of the height comes in there too these are 32 inch tires these are a 28 inch tire so i don't know you guys you decide which one you like there's not a port over here for a diesel heater and here we got a port for a diesel heater on the backcountry trailer uh the tongue is a little bit longer which allows for that box and let's take a look at the suspension underneath the backcountry trailer here you can see that we have uh, steel all the way back to the receiver from the tongue it's all connected it's all welded and as we come over here we look at this tubing this is uh inch and a quarter dom tubing and you can see we've got a we went with the same size all through all of the pieces these things were laser cut and welded at a racing fab shop you can see the heim joints up there which allows for more serviceability as well as alignment and then you can see here we got the true coil 250 pound coil springs similar shock setup i think everything went good that way what uh, boonie stomper did but we just had to take and <laughs> we just had to take and knock it out of the park with the bases loaded i think that's what we've done with the backcountry trailer anyway ah, let's take a look at them from this back here you guys there you can kind of get an idea from the back course you know the square drop is going to add the square shape is going to add all that storage which really makes it nice when you're getting out and uh out in the back country it makes it easier to stay longer another good friend of mine you saw it on the glacier trip he has a boonie stomper that he took and he extended the tongue he put a box on the front and he put he put uh 200 pound coil springs underneath there he put a receiver out the back with an additional carrying box like a truck bed box on the back there so there's there's some things that you can do to these boonies that will up their ante a little bit but let's talk about price and what you get these boonie stompers right now I believe they're re retailing for right around eleven five to twelve thousand dollars, and that's what you get. You don't get any kind of battery. You don't get any electronics. You have to put your own jackery in it. And the backcountry trailer, you get more space. You get a six-speed, a little bit quieter fan, 120 watts of solar. You get all the the battery and all of that stuff and the storage and i think it's a little bit more comfortable you guys i have to tell you that i use these little push to dim lights here these touch lights last night and <laughs> i loved them that's the way to go anyway anyway i think we all like our own stuff better because it's personalized thanks for checking out rocky mountain backcountry that's the comparison between the boonie and the backcountry so you know what to do you guys like if you do subscribe if you haven't and let's ride